Okay, we're going to try to do this real quick. This is my guide on how to get care pack in under six minutes, sometimes under five. Um, you just want your normal weapons. Aftershock 4 is good. Um, center Banes. Crypt, three parts Crypt with standard perks. Fighting 4 Geno is a must. And Double Devoted is really nice. And the Zuck Cape along with EOF with Armadale Battle Staff. And either Chandler's Ring or Reaver's Ring. Athlon's Grimoire. And Fractured Foot Battle Staff. And your General Nils. All that jazz. Um, you also want Quam Instant Sticks and Lentinon Instant Sticks, Penance Powder, Cow Demon with Scrolls, and I believe that's it. So let's get into it. So you're going to pick Hard Mode, go in, turn on your Grimoire, turn on your Aura, do your Animate Dead, Weapon Poison, Overload, and you want the Tier 99 magic prayer along with soul split and of course um, deflect magic and deflect melee now I'm just going to talk you through the fight so first thing you're going to do is you're going to sunshine then you're going to drain pot then you're going to smoke cloud then you're going to click your uh, in my case it's T for your your um, uh, Cow Demon Scroll, then you'll immediately Bold Bomb, then you'll just attack until it's time to go under him, which you'll hear him say that, then you go under, and then when you pop out, you'll use a Tsunami, then you'll switch over to your Fractured Staff, you'll Staff Spec, and then you'll go back to Dual Wield, and as soon as you can, you will use Tentacles to build up Adrenaline. Then from there, you will use your EOF Spec, which is your Armadale Battle Staff, you'll spam it. Ideally, you'll crit a whole bunch so you can use Omni Power right as your staff is ending and then go immediately right back into a staff spec. And then Wild Magic right as it's ending and spam staff spec as much as you can. Um, you can stall with Care Pack if you want since you do have Double Devoted and you are carrying melee. Um, but sometimes that's going to mess up your times because you're stalling there. It's going to he takes half damage um, what I'd rather do is just uh, tank these lightnings with reflect and debilitate and then go right back into the kill now every now and then you'll skip the lightning if you crit enough we just didn't crit enough there it's important at every one minute mark that you re bulb bomb and re cow demon spec to help with your crits and your damage and then every two minutes you want to make sure you're smoke clouding. Now in between phasing what you want to do is you want to wait until he attacks once. Then use your time warp. Then use sunshine. Then use anticipate. And then go under. And then as you come out you just want to use one of your basic abilities. By then you should have tsunami ready so that way you can get tsunami off before your cooldown. That way whenever the time warp goes back you can use your fractured staff spec and go immediately into tendrils that's okay because if on phase one you didn't use limitless then you could use limitless there if some reason you don't get your tsunami off in time with that it's everything is just the same rinse wash and repeat use your armadale battle staff spec spam it um, whenever it's about to end go ahead and use your omni power and then spam it again and wild magic, spam it again, and then right as he's on the ground here at the end, you can use asphyxiate to try to damage him. We went a little bit slow here because we stalled too long, and he was about to phase, and it's annoying if you phase him when the lightning's out because that just messes up your whole rotation. But yeah, so he's gonna attack, and then you're gonna wait just a second, then you're gonna time warp sunshine, use anticipate. And then walk under and go ahead and use your tsunami to get out because this is phase three we used our adrenaline pot right after we used sunshine so we had plenty of adrenaline we didn't have to do the anticipate actually then you'll use tendrils armadale battle staff spec in your eof omni and rinse wash and repeat 
Here we're getting some good crits, so we won't have to deal with the lightning. Which is pretty normal for phase 3, that's why you have that adrenaline pot. Then here what you're going to do is you're going to jump into a clone, use your Vol bomb, go ahead and smoke cloud, time warp, use tsunami, and then just spam all your specs real quick while you're on time warp. Try to kill this clone as quick as you can. Not kill it, but get it down to like under 10k health. And then move on to the next one. Smoke cloud, bulb bomb. You still got your tsunami crit spec, so go ahead and keep spamming it. And that one behind us died, so now we're going to start taking more damage, but it's okay. Go ahead and jump over here. Um, once your time warp is ready, you'll go ahead and press it, and then you will do Devotion, and then Tsunami. And then just spam all your moves that you can, just do as much DPS as you can. And then once that's up, right before he dies, you want to go ahead and use Devotion. That way you're getting the extra kill time, or the extra Devotion time from killing the clones. Then come up, you want a smoke cloud, bolt bomb, and then we're just going to do a full send, which consists of using Tsunami, then switching to Fractured Staff spec, using your Drin Pot, using Tendrils, using our EOF spec, which is our Armadale Battle Staff, into Omni, and then just rinse, wash, and repeat with that Staff spec. And that's it. I'm not. I'm gonna show one more kill, but I'm not gonna talk through it.
Five threads have split. I'll tear right through you. Look at what you've done. You fractured the threads of time. Yeah. 